Your statewide forecast with meteorologist Pat Walker. Hey, welcome back to Arkansas Today. As we go through this afternoon, we're going to see some thunderstorms developing. Some are starting right now. We'll get to those late afternoon to early evening hours. It looks like things could get a little more uh, active out there. But we still have the heat and humidity for about two-thirds of the state. A lot of us looking at these dew point values, 75 plus. The good news is... After this front moves through tonight, things are going to be dropping off. So here we are now with dew points in those mid to upper 70s. This is all in that oppressive range. Look what the uh, forecast is for these dew points to do. By tomorrow afternoon, we're talking about 60s and lower 70s. And into Thursday, all upper 60s. That's still humid, but it's a far cry from where we are now. So a little break from the high heat and high humidity with our front that will move through tonight. But right now, it is still hot from Little Rock to Clinton to Russellville. We're talking about excessive uh, heat right now with heat index values of 110 in Clinton. Over in Fort Smith, it's 102 with an excessive heat warning in Fort Smith. Little Rock also with an excessive heat warning. The heat index right now is 107. The temperature is 96. It feels like 110 in Arkadelphia. It feels like 110 in to Queen 115 the heat index value now in West Memphis of course West Memphis with that excessive heat warning so does Jonesboro Newport Little Rock Pine Bluff Arkadelphia El Dorado and the Fort Smith area too now we just showed you this before the break no heat advisories tomorrow so we're going to get that break from the heat there already are a couple of these little showers popping up had some around Russellville and over generally north of I-40, moving over to Conway County. Nothing yet really popping up just yet, but that's our one little shower we've got going on at this point. More to develop as this cold front does enter the state from the northwest. It's maybe barely clipping in the northwest Arkansas now, and generally along this front and south of it, so we're going to see the shower and thunderstorm development this afternoon. It's where the heat and humidity is the highest. And that's where they're most likely going to be developed. So far northwest Arkansas, you're getting the break from the heat already today. The rest of the state will see that as we go into tonight and tomorrow. So middle of the afternoon, central Arkansas, starting to see those showers and storms popping up. May get some on the north side of the front up in the north Arkansas, but generally we'll go from 5 to 7 p.m. for central Arkansas, the best chance of rainfall. Then that chance will kind of shift into south Arkansas for this evening. And by tomorrow, we're looking at less humid air in the state. Those dew points starting to drop into the 60s. It'll be a little more comfortable tomorrow. It's still going to be August. It's still going to be summertime, but not this extreme heat we've been having for the last three days. And Thursday as well, looking for this milder weather. Still looking at a lot of 90s and upper 80s across the state. There's going to be one little weak disturbance coming out of Oklahoma. Thursday that may give a couple of showers across the Washita's and Southern Ozarks, but with not a lot of humidity to play with, it probably won't amount to too much. And then into Friday, maybe the humidity begins to build back in as our front moves farther away. We could have another disturbance that brings a few showers into northwest Arkansas on Friday. And over the weekend, those, it does look like the rain chances kind of pick up kind of statewide. And that's your statewide forecast. Now, here's your local one.